Since Claire took the weekend off, her employee Tom is left in charge of the bakery. While he is in charge, Tom fixes the oven. Tom puts all the tools away, but he forgets a screw. And then this screw ends up in the croissant dough. Cyril buys a croissant for his flatmate Maria and puts it in the kitchen for Maria, who is working late. Maria bites down on the screw and suffers tooth damage. Maria, who is the flat-sharing partner with the damaged tooth, cannot assert any contractual claims. Since she didn't enter into the contract with the bakery, only Cyril did. Therefore, she doesn't have the warranty rights which would be available under sales law. This means that she cannot give the croissant back and reclaim the purchase price. On the other hand, she has two non-contractual claims at her disposal. One non-contractual claim is the producer's liability under Article 55 of the Swiss Code of Obligations, and the second being the product liability based on the Product Liability Act. Both non-contractual liabilities are directed at consequential damage from a defective product. If both non-contractual claims are possible, then the producer's liability under Article 55 is the main focal point. Under the producer's liability, according to Article 55, the producer is liable for any damage caused by a product which has been poorly designed or badly manufactured or for which he has provided the customer with insufficient information on how to use the product. Maria, the flat sharing partner, can therefore claim damages for the dental treatment from the bakery on the basis of the producer's liability under Article 55. Alternatively, she could claim the same damage on the basis of product liability.